Okay, so we've got hot water, uh, not essential but useful. One, the pigment goes in in the defined amounts that we've decided on, into the water first. And then start putting the powdered quicklime in. Rack quite quickly because of the warm water. But on, at the same time, at the moment, we're kind of drowning the, the quicklime until we get the right temperature. close now to the temperature we need. You see the lime suddenly wanting to mix in, which it wasn't doing before. And now we're close to our, well, our gauge of lime, but we put in one. And that's what we're looking for, that whoosh telling us that we've reached the necessary minimum temperature of 100 degrees, which will maximize the reduction of particle size along with the hot water and along with powder. So we're getting probably the smallest particle size you, you're gonna get in a lime wash by doing it this way with hot water, powder, and, and so on. Um, so I just want to get one more little bit in to really be sure. So, that's the one, I think. So now, any lime that's been drowned previously is being activated by the temperature having got to the point. And so we're gonna now see that lime slaking for a, a little while um, and effectively cooking the lime wash. Oh, lovely. It's, it's essential that we get, not necessarily this length of time bubbling, but essential that we get that whoosh and that guarantor effectively that we've reached the right temperature. And if you'd like, Lily, to just pan around and to the building that we're currently lime washing with the top grass pigment. That's the effect. Hot lime wash going on hot and thicker than would be possible with a, a lime revival type lime putty lime wash with hardly any lime in it.